Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at breaking down the M1 software in this tutorial. So just doing a general basic overview, getting comfortable within the structuring and the layout of our M1 software so that we can move into getting online with the ECU and starting to communicate and to learn how to do the calibration process and programming and working within our MoTeC M1 systems. So the first thing I want to do here is talk about a package and what that means in terms of the MoTeC M1 software suite. So the package is going to be what we would know on an older MoTeC gold box as the calibration file. So you know in the older gold box you would load the calibration file that holds all your data and your tuning information and that would communicate with the gold box and allow you to program the vehicle. The package is going to the same equivalent but it's going to add a couple additional things within the file structuring and that package structuring that is important to understand with our M1 systems. Now, we're going to find that the package is going to contain our firmware, and the firmware is going to allow you to have certain specific features and functions added within your programming capability. So if you want to have something that's going to be specific to a vehicle, you're going to have to get a firmware package that's specific for that vehicle, or be able to develop it and code that yourself. But this course is going to be focusing on already developed packages from third-party applications or from MoTeC. So the firmware is something that's unique to the package. The tune data, which would be the equivalent of the calibration file, is also unique to the package. In addition to this, we have security information that's going to be unique to our package. And the last thing is going to be our layouts, which consist of both a workbook and a worksheet that's specific to our package. And we're going to break that down here in this tutorial. So let's jump in here and first learn how to open up a package within our M1 software. So the very first thing we're going to find at the top here of my screen, you can see here, no packages loaded. And we can find here that we have a workbook and we have our um, option here, workbook one and our worksheet, which is going to be found in our workbook. And again, we're going to talk about what this means here. They're all blank. There's going to be nothing to really look at here. We don't have a file loaded into the software. So that's what we want to first do here. We want to load a package file and start to explore it and break that down. We have two options in order to load our package into our software. We can go here into our quick launch tab, and this, is, this might be what you have pop up when you open up the software. And this allows you to go ahead and open up a package that you previously worked with or looked at in the software. Let's assume you haven't opened up anything yet. You can move up here into file and into open package. Alternatively, you can keystroke control O, allowing you to go ahead and open up a package. So let's go to open package option. Now we can see right here, this is going to be where we load a package into our software and allow it to actually be brought in. And we actually have to go to the import file option to take a look at a package. Now I have two packages that are going to be on my desktop right now. They're both John Reed Racing packages. So a third party package that I can upload to my MoTeC as long as I paid for that package license for my specific MoTeC, which is something you'd have to contact that developer or if you're buying a MoTeC package, you're gonna have to go ahead and pay for that ahead of time and have that match to your MoTeC and the serial number, which is gonna be something you have to work out with that developer or with MoTeC in order to actually obtain that file. Now you can open up packages and not have to purchase them. They're available to download on MoTeC's website. If you go in and you take a look at the MoTeC M1 Tune option we looked at in the previous tutorial where we did our downloads, you can download various different packages that MoTeC offers they're not going to have third-party packages such as John Reed, but you'll be able to go and take a look at what a particular package consists of. Let's go ahead and open up one of the packages I have on my desktop. Let's go here to import file. And we can see right now it's looking for anything that's going to have a package archive. So it's going to be a .m1 package dash archives. And essentially this is equivalent of a zip file that holds all of the information we need in order to take a look at things. Now I have two John Reed packages on my desktop. I have a Subaru specific, so a 2008 to 2016 STI. That's going to be a plug and play for that vehicle from John Reed Racing. The, the advantage or the reason why I have this specific package is if I'm going to be tuning a Subaru STI, this has all the canvas information. So everything is functional in the car still. And that's something that I paid the money for uh, from John Reed to be able to have that luxury of being able to plug this file with a plug and play box. In or plug and play harness with my MoTeC M150 
into that Subaru in order to calibrate and tune it. We also have a universal motorsport package from John Reed here, and this is gonna be something that's more suited to any type of engine. So the Subaru STI is gonna be specifically locked down to this vehicle, and I can't take this package and uh, let's just say bring it into a different vehicle. It's specific to the vehicle. The universal is gonna give me the ability to do anything. And that's what you'll find with a lot of the MoTeC packages, such as the GPR package, that's going to be more of their universal race package from MoTeC, and that will allow you to do any type of vehicle. So it's going to be either vehicle specific in your packages or more of a universal motorsport package. And it'll, again, either be a third party or something from MoTeC that you'll be purchasing. So let's go ahead and just open up this universal motorsport option, and I'm going to click open right here, and that's going to bring that package into the open package window. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.